What is up? It is your boy Brzeiden Flex here and welcome back to Soul Calibur 6. So in the last video we played through Nightmare Story, the main icon character of Soul Calibur 6 and it revealed a lot about Nightmare that inside he's not actually truly evil, that all he wants is to revive his father's soul and that is what Soul Edge uses to manipulate him. But in this video this is like gonna be directly after Nightmare Story is Siegfried's story. Now Siegfried is um, the true form of Nightmare, just corrupted by Soul Edge, but I'm not going to give away too much of Siegfried's story, we're just going to hop in and play through his story. So Chapter 1, Nightmare's True Face. Let's go. Look at him! The Azure Knight, previously known as Nightmare, the former wielder of Soul Edge, who brought the world to its knees. In truth, he was first a knight named Siegfried. Yep. After killing his father by accident, Siegfried fell into a deep denial, which eventually twisted into a desire for revenge against his father's imaginary killer. To enact his revenge, he needed power, which led him to Soul Edge. So yeah, Turned he... into the oh. sword's puppet, he became Nightmare, until losing in battle to Killick. When the sword was shattered, Siegfried found himself awoken from the strange spell he had been under. Though freed from Soul Edge's grasp, he now had to face the fact that it was he who had killed his father. So yeah, because... On the ground um, to his side lay the shattered remnants of Soul Edge. This is a really long intro. So yeah, he kind of went into a sort of crazy phase because he couldn't believe that he killed his father. Father! What have Jeez. I done? The feel of my sword as it thrust into his body. I remember it all. Father, forgive me. <laughs> For a moment, I held Soul Edge. I, I began harvesting souls. The sword warped my mind. How many people have I killed? My sins are too great. I want to peel my skin off. I want to escape myself. Wow. So yeah, because this, uh, because Soul Calibur 6 takes like a part of, um, or takes place in like the first events of everybody finding Soul Edge, Siegfried, um, just found out that yeah, he killed a bunch of people. Um, I'll explain it more like towards the end of the video. Alright, Chapter 2, Beneath Fate's Thumb. Unable to cope with the weight of his crime, Siegfried tried to abandon what was left of Soul Edge. However, the evil sword was so closely tied to his fate that it could not relinquish him from its grasp so easily. His cruel reign as Nightmare was not forgotten by any means, and, one after another, warriors began to appear before him, intent on taking their revenge. Because yeah, they still think that he's, uh, the Azure Knight Nightmare. Because of his armor. The Knight of the Great Sword. You are Nightmare, correct? <laughs> Answer me! Siegfried. Can you not speak? I can. I'm Nightmare. You wow. make me sick. My comrades deserved better than that brutal death at your hand. You yeah. shall die here this day. Revenge shall be mine! So this is the same port that Nightmare was in when all those guys were drinking and he killed them all, so... I guess this guy's the sole survivor. But, uh, yeah, so Siegfried, like, always suffers from his sins of how many people he's killed. And in previous games, like Soul Calibur 4, Siegfried is actually the wielder of Soul, of, uh, Soul Calibur. And he uses it to, like, fight against, uh, the Nightmare at that time as well. In this one, he just has this normal sword, though. Jesus! Okay, I did, uh, I will admit that I did have to train a bit with Siegfried. Um, because his sword and style is a little bit funny to get used to. So yeah, Jesus. I don't really like Siegfried's armor in this. Uh, it was better in like previous games. But it's all good. Okay, Jesus. Like, I'm just trying to get used to his combos again. There we go. I don't know what that does. Okay, oh Jesus, okay. Whoa, okay, enough of that now. What is, is this guy supposed to be like a Spartan or something? I have no idea what this guy's supposed to be. Anyway, just good night, goodbye. <laughs> Simple pimple, there we go. Jesus, that was brutal. Look at 
his face as well. How long must this go on for? Will I ever be free of this nightmare? <gasps> That's like your name! <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Stupid joke. Um, But yeah, like I was saying in previous games like Soul Calibur 4, which takes place after the events of this, um, he's actually the wielder of Soul Calibur, and he goes to fight... um. Nightmare in that game. So Nightmare in Soul Calibur 4 is actually Inferno that possessed Siegfried's armor. Little fun fact for you. Anyway, an unexpected savior. Wandering aimlessly, Siegfried ended up crossing swords with a woman who declared that she must destroy Soul Edge. Though she claimed to be able to purify souls, the deep-rooted evil gnawing away at Siegfried was too strong to be cleansed. Nevertheless, their meeting would prove the necessary imp impetus for Siegfried to bow to face to his sins and atone for them. Is this Ivy? Oh, Sophitia. Whoa, what the? What's going on? I, I... The evil is still present? I'd forgotten what? what it was like to feel so at ease. Oh. Who are you? I'm sorry. But you have my gratitude. Leave Soul Edge to me. Hmm. No, wait! Soul Edge. Even reduced to shattered shards, it emanates evil. Yeah. If I don't do something, it will corrupt the area with its wickedness. Or still, someone could come here and try to resurrect it. Yeah. <laughs> I may never be able to pay for my sins, for their evil can never be expunged. However, I may be able to atone to an extent. If I could ensure that Soul Edge never wreaks havoc again. Yes, that's the only hope I have. I must do it with my own two hands. Can I ever truly atone? So yeah, um... Siegfried's story is one that I'm like extremely familiar with and that's why I can say so much about it So yeah, Siegfried also refuses help from anyone um, Because of how he feels about what he did as Nightmare He refuses help from everybody and so many people want to help him But he just turns their back on him because he feels he has to do this alone Anyways, vowing to atone Soul Edge could not be could not be scratched, let alone broken by a normal weapon. To ensure the sword would never fall into the hands of another, Siegfried decided it would need to be sealed away somewhere in total isolation. However, such a place could not be easily found. Meanwhile, every time he snuck down, every time he struck down another challenger who sought revenge against Nightmare, Siegfried feared that he was in danger of slipping back under the sword's control. Yeah, that's true. That scar on his eye is insane looking. Nightmare. At last, we meet again! Another Avenger? Yes. It is I, Nightmare. Exact your revenge. I need not your permission. Prepare to die! However, I cannot die yet. I don't understand why people keep calling him Nightmare. Does that look like Nightmare to you? Clearly he's changed a bit. Like, that's not the same evil bastard that was killing people. Alright, into the battle. Sorry, was replying to a text. Good god. Okay, oh, what? I don't know what that ability does. Oh, I guess that charges up so, so that little 12 in the corner where my health bar is. I guess if I get that up to 12, it'll power up uh, Siegfried's sword. Like we've seen before. Or if I just get down to below half health. There we go. Charge up some more. Oh, good god. Okay, down you go. What style is this guy using? Oh, Xiong Mina's, okay. Ugh, there we go. Siegfried also had some, ow, some killer kick combos for someone of his size. Good night. Okay, there we go. Quick little knock. Oh, little roundhouse. Okay, let's see Siegfried's ability. Whoa. Holy crap. He's powering this thing up like nuts. Holy shit! That was so cool! Let's do it again! Let's finish him off! 
Look at this attack! It's a very basic attack, like very basic premise to it, but just destructive. I wouldn't have to rely on this strength. Oh, if you look, so he has holy power, but if you look when he does that attack, you can see Nightmare's flames. I see blood, darkness, death. Yeah. No, I am myself and nothing else. I will not submit to that living nightmare again. My crimes weigh heavy on my soul. Damn. Poor guy, man. Like, as if he hasn't suffered enough, he's still gotta keep going. Chapter 5, An Arduous Journey Not all who stood in Siegfried's way were hell-bent on revenge. Some warped souls appeared down to the evil of Soul Edge, though it wasn't Siegfried's goal to do away with these twisted individuals. Neither were they the types with whom he could reason with. So who, like Astroth, Knight, or uh, Astroth, Ivy, Cervantes? I smell you. Oh, I smell you. fuck, I'm Alfested. So sweet, the scent of Soul Edge. Yeah, I probably still smells still, of it. I attract the Malfested like flies to dung. But I'm confused. You're undoubtedly Nightmare. You have Soul Edge hidden on your person, yet you appear so weak. Wait a moment. Do you know how it is I know your Nightmare? Alas, I have no idea. It's because I was a Malfested who worked under you, you fool! Oh. You weren't easy to find. The Nightmare you seek is no more. <laughs> so it seems. How about I crush you like the worm you are and become the next nightmare? Yeah, good luck with that. You ain't gonna beat Siegfried in a fight, come on. But, um, yeah, some of the people that actually, like, tried to help Siegfried was, like, Sofitia was one. Um, if you guys remember Hildy, she's a knight. She was also, like, hell-bent on trying to help Siegfried, and he refused. One. Oh god, he's using Cervantes' style. And I gotta beat him three times. What is this garbage? What the hell kind of attack was that? There we go. Oh, okay, never mind. Okay, hit him with this. Yoink! What? You son of a bitch! Why does this guy dress like a villager as well? Good. Jesus. Ow, ow, ow. Oh god. Yeah, Cervantes' style is deadly. Oh god, come on, there we go. Nice little kick in the head, now stay down. Oh, he wants more, does he? Oh god, I got an itchy eye. Ugh, oh, that's the worst. Okay, come on. Oh my god, my eye won't stop itching. I'm trying to play one-handed right now. Oh, that's something we haven't seen yet. Hold on, oh god, wrong button. Holy shit, oi! You mind, you bastard? Okay, let's use this. Eh, kind of a lame grab. Oh! That's the other one! That's sick! Oh god, okay. I, I was expecting to... Siegfried is like... His attacks are so basic, but they're just so deadly. Oi! Oh, there we go. My sword's going now. Ow! Okay! Good god. I'm still trying to itch my eye. I won't stop itching. I know I'm trying to use that as an excuse, but shut up! Okay, get him. Get him. There. Nice little roundhouse kick. How do you like that? Why do I keep using that attack? It does nothing. Okay, come on. Yoinky! There we go. There, there, there we go. There we go, you pile of shit. Got a perfect on him that time. All right, let's charge up. Sorry, but your path ends here. Oh, he doesn't use holy light. He uses just the normal one. Okay. There we go. Does Siegfried have a special with him? He does this. That was even English. I don't think it does anything else. Had eh, it did a little bit more damage than normal, but oh, good lord. Okay, grab him. Grab, gra grab him. Grab the bastard. Oh my god. Okay, you know what? Oh, what the? He's blocked. There we go. Good night. Good god, he blocked everyone. Did I get another perfect? Sweet Jesus, I'm the best. <laughs> I'm not. Don't take that shit seriously. The Malfested are appearing more and more. Could it be that Soul Edge is getting stronger? I refuse to give up. I'll do whatever it takes. There must be some way. 
<sighs> That's it. That sword that pierced Nightmare, I, I mean me, and shattered Soul Edge. Yep. If I had that. So yeah, Zhang Wa was the first one to hold Soul Calibur, and then after after a while, I can't I can't remember exactly what happens. We're just gonna have to keep playing through. Part six: The Spirit Sword beckons. The evil in Soul Edge was growing stronger with each passing minute. One day, Siegfried heard an ethereal voice in his head speaking directly to him. Responding to Siegfried, that Siegfried's desperation to save his own sanity, the Spirit Sword Soul Calibur was calling out to him. But from the, but from the sound of things, the blade was also in need of help itself. Yeah. So unless your will is strong enough, you can't find Soul Calibur. Who calls to me? What's going on? I can hear a voice from afar. It cannot be, can it? The sword that destroyed Soul Edge. It calls for help, I think. Uh. There we go. It's blue instead of red. It's trapped inside the cursed sword? Take Soul Edge in hand? <sighs> what? My hand. It's shaking. If I grip Soul Edge, I might become Nightmare again. I must stay strong. There is no other way! Jesus, man. Is there another part to this? Is there seven parts to this story? Jesus. The mental realm. The moment Siegfried gripped the evil sword's hilt, he was dragged into the mental realm. There he was surrounded by images of the times he had fought as Nightmare and lost. Soul Calibur appeared before him, and he watched as it was swallowed up by the strange dimension where it could be slowly devoured by evil. Wow. Oh, this realm. This is where we fought Inferno. Where am I? It's that sword. Soul Calibur. You wish for me to hold you? What's wrong? Oh God, nightmare! <laughs> Stop right there! I shall not allow it. Are you Soul Edge? Just a little more, a little more, and this power will be mine. Jeez. Your reign of terror ends here. <sighs> Submit to me. Obey my will. So yeah, in this Soul Calibur 6, Siegfried and Nightmare are the same person. In like a past game, Soul Calibur 4, like I keep going back to it because it's such a good game. Uh, Soul Calibur 4, Siegfried and Nightmare are two separate people. Uh, Siegfried is himself, and Nightmare is actually Inferno that possessed the Azure armor. And that, in that case, that nightmare is pure evil. This one can be slightly reasoned with a little bit. Because it is just Siegfried. Good god. Wait, I have to take down another one after Nightmare? Wow, that was really easy. Okay. Oh, because I'm constantly soul charged. That's why. Wait, that was Nightmare. Who else do I have to fight? Do I have to fight Inferno? Oh, Jesus, I do? Good lord. I do have, oh god, okay. Inferno moves a bit. I gotta take him out fast. Because if you guys remember, when we fought him as kill, like, yeah, he moves like a freaking mental case. Ah, wrong one again. Good Jesus, look at him. Okay, okay, I can't even stand up. Good god, okay, knock it off. There we go. Just, just keep chopping him down. Good God, it did fucking nothing to him. No! There we go. Nice little chop of the head. Yoinky! There we go. Okay, hit him with your ultimate. Get him, Siegfried! What? What happened? Well, that seems hardly fair. I used mine first. Oh, good Jesus. Okay. Come on, Inferno, you bastard. Yoinky! Got him, got him. Fry him, Siegfried! 
Good riddance! Did I do it? Strength fails me. Oh, what a deadly attack! That was very down to the wire. Inferno could have slaughtered me then. Whoa. Soul Calibur. For me? But if the sword's power is unleashed someday, that time, it will come. Siegfried's battle with his nightmares raged on. No one knows of his sacrifice. However, if there was ever one who could prevent the resurrection of the cursed sword, it would be Siegfried. He who dashed Soul Edge's hopes of devouring Soul Calibur. Man. Um, so yeah, Siegfried then took up Soul Calibur. It doesn't look like that when he wields it. The names it. of the warriors whose fates were bound to the two swords have been etched into the very fibers of history. So Soul Calibur is like Soul Edge in some ways. Um, the person that wields the sword, it like... It morphs into how, like the weapon that person uses. So when Soul, when Siegfried grabs Soul Calibur and wields it, it becomes um, it becomes a different form. There we go. Siegfried story. Done. Wait, Nightmare side story. Blade atonement sacrifice. That just unlocked because I just did Siegfried. Because they did an update on the game, like they added a new thing for Mitsurugi style. Where it ended off here in 1587 and then fast forward to 1590. So, um, hmm, should I play through? You know what? I might do a separate video itself where I do all the side stories and stuff because I can already tell Xiong Mina has one as well. And I think Gro has an extra one as well. But, uh, I might do that for a separate video. So, yeah, that is Siegfried's story done. What a phenomenal story. It just shows Siegfried's absolute torment, what he went through afterwards after he got out of nightmares head but uh yeah that's gonna be it for this video guys in the next video we play as sophitia the warrior that helped destroy soul edge when cervantes held it so that's gonna be very interesting but y'all know what to do in the meantime guys make sure you like this video make sure you subscribe it helps me a lot now see you guys in the next episode of soul caliber 6 thanks so much and goodbye